and welcome to everybody on cloud fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can copy the data into warehouse using pipelines in Microsoft Fabric. So till now we have seen how we can load the data into a table using create table statements. And after that, you know, how we can insert the data into the table, how we can use copy into command to load the data into the table. But in this case, we are going to see how we can build a pipeline to do that piece of work. So let's move ahead. But before moving ahead, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn and Instagram. And I'm going to leave the link in the description box. Also, in case you, you guys need any assistance in terms of resume review, any kind of technical session, then in that case, you guys can connect with me on TopMate as well. And I'm going to leave the link in the description box. So let's move ahead to our fabric workspace that we have. So we are going to type in app.fabric.microsoft.com. And this is here. We are on the Microsoft Fabric page. So now if you go on the left hand side corner, we are working on the data warehouse part. We have already worked on the data engineering. We have worked on the real time analytics as well. Now, in this case, we are working on data warehouse. So let's click on the data warehouse part. And we have already created a warehouse called as test warehouse. So let me click on my test warehouse that I have. So this is my test warehouse. Now, what you guys can do, you can simply click on this get data option over here and you can click on new data pipeline. Now, the moment you click on new data pipeline, it might take a minute or so. Let me say new data pipeline. This is the name of my pipeline. Let me click on create. So this is going to help you create the pipeline, which will load the data into the warehouse. So once this is done, you will see that you land into this particular page where you can see the source, right? Your source can be anything from your one leg data hub. You can get some sample data as well. Let's click on some sample data. Let's say public holidays or something like that. Then you know you will go into this data preview section and if you click on next over here it is going to ask you for the destination and review and save but right now we are not going to follow the simple method i'll go back and you can simply cancel this let me just cancel it and then you can see you are here in this particular ui and what you can do you can simply click on pipeline activity over here so the moment you click on uh, pipeline activity you will see different uh, activities over here to transform your data to load your data so if I go ahead click on copy data activity over here you will see that we will be able to create a pipeline now in case you already are familiar with Azure Data Factory then in that case you know uh, you are already familiar with it so there is nothing new over here from Azure Data Factory so it is completely Azure Data Factory over here so let's click on copy data and here, if you see over here, okay, this is the name of my activity. If I go and click on source, right? Now, if you see over here, in this connection section, you can use any of your existing connection or you can click on more over here and create a new connection all together as well. So let me just simply click on view mode. Let's say I want to choose Azure Blob Storage. I have my data present in Azure Blob Storage. You can click on Azure Blob Storage, which we are going to do in this particular video. But apart from that, if you have data stored elsewhere, you can get the data from all of these different sources as well. So let me click on Azure Blob. Now it is asking me account URL, right? The URL from my Azure Storage. So this is the open data set that I have. So this is the URL that I have and I'm going to copy this URL using the same copy into command. We have loaded the data into one of our table called as dimension city in our previous video, right? So I'm using the same data set. I am, um, I have given the, um, uh, the URL for my uh, storage account over here. And if you look, this is how the connection looks like. Let me simply click on connect. And it says connecting to the data sources. So now automatically it got connected. And now you can actually see if you want to test connection, you can test the connection over here. And at the same time, it will ask you for the file path because this is the location of the storage account. But now where is your file present? Container directory and the file name, right? So if I go over here, sample data, this is my container. So I'm just going to copy it, paste it in the container. And then this is the folder. Let me just copy this as well. 
and here I go this is the name of my parquet file let me copy the name of my parquet file which I want to copy right and at the same time you can see now even the connection is test connection is also successful so now if you look over here the file format right right now you can see that the file format that we are trying to load is parquet so that's why we need to change it over here whatever file for format you guys are choosing you can mention it over here and after that once we go to the destination part you can go ahead choose any of your existing connections as well right so we already have test warehouse so we have already created a warehouse so let me uh, this is the warehouse that we have been using right so i can say that okay i want to load the data into the test warehouse right so the moment i click on this you guys can see what will happen it is going to check whether the table that you want to load the data into is it already present or you want to create a new table so let's say i want to create a new table now it is asking me for a schema let's uh, take dbo schema the one which we have so we have uh, let me go over here and show you guys so we have this dbo schema over here now let me put the table name let's say my table name will be uh, pipe line underscore table right and after that mapping or mapping will not come over here uh, at this point uh, with regards to the pipeline that we have set up and now what I can do is I can simply click on validate and check if everything is fine so the moment I click on validate you can see your pipeline has been validated there are no error found so I can close this I can simply say okay go ahead and save this and once I save this I can simply click on run I can schedule it I can trigger it uh, you know uh, even if I you know set a, I, I, if I want to trigger it at a particular schedule or, or based on any event I can do that using this trigger you can go ahead check the view run history as well but in this case let me simply click on run first so that our pipeline starts running so this is how my pipeline is running right now and it will take maybe around 20 30 seconds to run this particular pipeline and we will see that how it is loading the data as well so now you guys can see within 33 seconds right my pipeline was fully successful so now if i go to my warehouse i should have the table over here so this is the pipeline table this is the table that we actually loaded right through this pipeline now this is the data that you see over here you must be familiar with the data itself already because we have been using it so now if i want to you know select top 100 from this particular table i can do that so this is exactly how we can create a data pipeline you know and load the data into a warehouse table do remember to follow and practice this as well and do remember to like share and subscribe my channel in case you like my videos so thank you so much for being till here.